Look at three. Me and you, me and you. Work at three. Are you ready for this? We're going to hit the wall today, which means every round I give you, you have to go until you feel the wall just bang. That's how far I want you to go today. It's going to feel horrible. It's going to feel rubbish but we're gonna do it together. Every single time we go through a round, you've got five minutes and it seems like a long time, but I promise you, 10 reps of four exercises goes fast. And if you don't get them in and get them done, all you're gonna do is you're gonna be here and you're not gonna be seeing the changes because you're not putting in the right amount of effort. The idea of this workout is you have to push to your maximum. I'm giving you full body, I'm giving you compound, I'm giving you back, I'm giving you arms, shoulders, it's all in today. But we're doing it through not just strength, by making sure that we're lifting as much weight as possible, not just by plyometric, by using the bench, not just by making sure that we're adding cardio in there, by getting our heart rate to that optimal level that's going to really make those changes happen we're going to do it by adding them all together and kicking our ass i am ready for this are you ready for this i know there's some people out there that will love this workout so strap on your best i'm going for the 10 pounds because that is the level i'm at i'm not quite at the 12 pound yet so if you're at the 12 pound best good luck <laughs> good luck with that I'll see you on the other side. So this is how it's going to roll. You have got four sections. Within those four, four sections, I'm going to give you 10 seconds rest. And you're very welcome. I'm just going to give you five. You're going to get 10 seconds rest. You're going to do 10 reps of four exercises. I'll explain the exercises between each round. And then you're going to go balls out and hit the wall hard. That's it. Simple, right? No problem. This is what you're going to need. You need your best if you've got one. You're gonna need a box if you have one. This is optional. You don't need this, you can do it on the floor if you need to. So if you're somewhere traveling, don't worry about it. You're gonna need one weight, that's it. You can do this whole workout with one weight. I, however, I'm gonna do my swings with my kettlebell because it's amazing. The 45 kettlebell is like next level. And for my snatches, I've got two weights. So I've made one at seven and a half a side in case I need to go down. And I've got one with 10 pounds a side in case I need to go down. So that's 26 pounds right there. And then obviously that's uh, like seven, seven pounds lighter. So that's how it's gonna roll. This is what we're doing today. Let's start it together. I'm with you, you're with me. Give me your best effort and I'm ready to roll. So your first exercises, we're gonna go straight in. We're gonna start with our warm up. <laughs> 10 burpees, straight burpees, no push up. You're just gonna do a, a burpee on the floor, get up. Then you're gonna do goblet squats. You're gonna pick up your kettlebell or your weight. You're gonna get your feet nice and wide and we're gonna goblet squat for 10. I don't want a half goblet squats. I don't wanna see it. Don't even post it. I don't wanna see it. I need you to get low, really low. I make sure that my elbows touch my knees. That is how I know that I'm hitting every time, okay? Then we've got single arm clean and press. So we're gonna single arm, clean and press, drop it down. Single arm, clean and press, drop it down. And then we've got 10 swings. That's your warm up round. You've got five minutes. I just need a drink because I'm dead nervous. Are you ready? Okay, guys. <coughs> I'm ready. Start with the burpees. You've got five minutes. Do as many as you can in the rounds you've got. 10 seconds. Dun, 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 Four. Three. Two, let's go. So down. Nice and controlled. Up. Jump up. I don't want a push up. I don't want a tuck jump. I don't want any snazzy extras. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Now, whichever weight you're using, pick it up. Either the 40 pound kettlebell or your weight. You can hold the weight here if you need to. The harder version, hold it here. Ten, three, two, one, let's go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Four, three, two, one more. 
one, first round, always suck. Single arm, clean and press, however you're doing it. In the middle, three, two, one, up, down, push. One, two, three, four, three minutes, 20 to go. Six, come on. Seven. Eight. You should be going to your mat. Nine. Three minutes to go. Ten. Ten swings. Straight in here. Three, two, one. Let's go. Nine, ten. Did I mention this is your warm up? Oh, good. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Robert squats. Take a breath. Oh. Three, two, one. Let's go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Six. Five. Four. Squeeze that ass. on the work. Come on, we've got 50 seconds. Eight. Nine. 40 seconds. Ten. You've got 34 seconds to get 10 swings. Go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. 20 seconds. Five, 20 seconds, four, three, two, last one. If you have time to spare, jog it out. If you have time to spare, jog it out, got 10 seconds. Two, oh, round one done. How's that feel? I should warm up round, let's move on. Next one, we're sticking with the burpees. Get a breath. You're sticking with the burpees, you've got box jump burpees. So, using the box with or without the box is entirely up to you. This time, more advanced people, definitely adding a push up and a tuck jump. This is your beginner, you're just gonna come down, come in, jump up, take it back. Down, come in, either on the box or off the box. Beginners, intermediates, you know exactly how this is rolling. You come down, add a push up if you wish. If not, come in, tuck jump. 10 of those. Easy, right? Straight into walking push ups. 10. I'm going to do two, four, six. That's how I'm going to work. Snatches are next. Get your big weight. Whew, single arm squat press. 
And then, uh, single arm squat press the other side. You've got five minutes, your heart rate should still be up there. Mine's at one, two, four. I'm right in my fat burning zone, and so should you be. 10 seconds. That's your talk over. Go to your max. Four, three, two, one. I'm going to show you the first one very slowly. Push up. Come in. So jump, that's one. Two. Walking push ups. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine. One more. Ten. The easiest moves are the hardest. Snatches. Three. Two. Remember what I said. Snatch round. We've done this in the other workouts. You should know by now. Three. Two. One. Let's go. One. Back to legs and shoulders. Come on, I need two rounds in, if possible. Lower your weight down if you need two, three, two, one, let's go. Squat, press, narrow squat this time, not a goblet. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, are you getting low? Ten, other side. Are you getting low? Four, three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four. 
three. 14 seconds, I've got so much sweat in my eyes. Two. Four seconds. That's what 11 minutes looks like when you push hard. You don't need to be. Big breaths. Round three. The difference between what I'm doing, if you listen, you hear that? It's because I'm talking to you and I'm trying to breathe at the same time. So you hear that? It's what you should be doing. You hear the difference? One of them I'm filling my lungs, the other one I'm panting. And we all do it, but be mindful of it. You lose fat by breath. That's where fat disappears to. If you want to know how you get rid of it, it's by breath. The more you breathe, the more oxygen you get around your body, the better you perform, the better you work. If you're doing this, be mindful of it. Different sounds. The reason I'm doing it is because I'm talking. I'm trying to just grab anything I can between sets. Are you ready? Next one. Oh yeah. We've got another burpee. This time it's competition style. You know how this rolls? We go all the way to the floor. So this is the max functional training you will ever do. You know our kids? Fall down, stand up, fall down, stand up. It's basically what we're going to do. A lot of people have trouble with this and the reason is because they don't use their legs. So you're going to come down to the floor, all the way down. And then it's my legs that do the work. I come up. I don't push myself here because that's putting strain on my elbows. I come up into this move. Okay, so I'm almost doing a mini push-up. Then I bring my legs in. It's my legs that do the work. Most people say that it, it hurts them because they do this and they try to do that. That's not what we're doing. You come up in a strong push, then legs do the rest. Think about that as well. You ready? Mm. Then whew, we go into a lunge and a squat. So you're gonna grab your weight. We're gonna do a lunge and a squat, a lunge, and a squat, we've got 10 of those. Then we've got low swings, we're gonna stay low and we're gonna swing low. That's how this section is gonna work. You've only got three moves in this one. Oh, you're very welcome. Don't you worry about it. But you've still got five minutes. <laughs> you're welcome for that as well. Are you ready? Shall we just have a drink? Okay, let's just have a drink. <sighs> hmm. My drink matches my trousers today. Are you ready? Okay guys, number three, so this is how it's going to go. We're going to do competition burpees, then we're going to move into um, lunges with a squat, and then we're going to go into low swings. Only three moves in this round, but it's still five minutes. You've got ten seconds. Are you ready? Eight, seven, all the sixes, the fives, fours, threes, twos. Let's go. Ten, down, push up, come in, chop, jump. You're not doing this. So many people do that. You're not doing that. Come up and in at the same time. Two. Three. Four. Five. You can take out the chuck if you want. Six. Just like that. Seven. Come on. You should be getting there now. It's your third round. Ten. Big breaths, just like I told you. Lunge in a squat. Grab your weights. Stand tall. So, you're going to lunge, then you're going to squat. Got it? Advance people. Up you go. Lunge. Squat. Two. Three, if you want to do this, you can. Four, five, six. That's why I gave you a bit extra time. Seven, 
E. So good for your posterior chain. Nine. Four. One more. Ten. Good job. It's hard. Gets your heart rate up there. But it's so good. Low swings. 2.59 to go. Three minutes. Three, two, one. Stay low. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one. That one destroys your ass cheeks. Burpees. One more round. Let's get it in. 2.30 to go. I'm in one, three, one. I'm in the green. Three, two, one. Let's go. Come on. Eight, how bad do you want it? Seven. Six. Get a breath. Get it. Finish it. That wall should be coming at you. Ah, don't bend down. So on the big mistakes that people do, they do this. All you're doing, common sense really, is blocking your airways. Your airways now are blocked. Your heart rate is, and your blood flow is going to your brain. One of the best things you can do, put your hands up, open up your airways. Big breaths. Should be hard. It should be blowing. Okay, last one in your last four rounds, and then we are our finisher. We're 22 minutes in, we're so close now. So, this is how this is going to go. This time, you've got a push up, burpee, but instead of a tuck jump, we do a heel kick. Okay, it's a lot easier than a tuck jump. That's how it's going to roll. So, you're going to do a push up. Then into a burpee and then a heel kick. That's how it's going to roll, okay? Then push up row. So you're going to need to grab that weight. You've got to push up in a row. Then we've got switch lunges. No weight, just your best. Switch lunges for 10. That's your plyometric move. And then pie calves. So we're going to take our legs and our feet together. If you can't do that, you're going to do straight abs, okay? That's how it's going to roll. It's your next five minutes. Are you ready? Do you need a drink? Do you need to lower any weights? Are you ready to go? Have a quick sip. Ah, it's real. So we've done this whole workout with one weight. 
Don't tell me that you haven't got time. Don't tell me that you need fancy equipment. You literally have used one of our body rock weights or one of our body rock dumbbells, uh, kettlebells to do all of this. You can do this at home. You can join in. You just need to want to do it. Are you ready? We've got five minutes. Anybody else who knows wrong when they train? Mind you, super. Okay, people, let's do this. Three, two, <laughs> one. Ah, let's go, 10 seconds. Oh, God, what are you doing? I know, I know you're excited about the whole situation. You ready? I'll push up, I don't need that. Let's go, come down. Push up, come in, heel tuck, one. Two, my favorite burpee. Three, four, five, six, seven, Nine. One more. Ten. If you're push up out, you can do bent over row. Ten each side. If you are completely push up out, that's your alternative. Do it now. Everyone else. Let's do it. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, try and get on the weight if you can. Seven. How's that wall looking? Eight. Nine, can't cheat a rep. Fifty seconds have been long done by now. Ten. Switch on just three. Hit your aces. Two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Since when did switch lunges feel like a rest? <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> Once upon a time, switch lunges was the worst. Now it's everything else. <laughs> Pie caps. Three, two, one. So up, touch, go down, up, two. Now try it together. Three, shoulders are the key to abs. Four, five, six, seven, up, eight, control it down. Nine, one more. Ten, good job. Let's do it again. Burpee heel kicks. You've got one minute 35 to go. Let's get these in. Go. One. Two. Three. Four. Come on, one minute 10. Just keep digging. Five through every rep. Six. A minute to go. Seven. Eight. I have to go. 
control myself and give a big breath in the middle. Nine. One more. It's like exhilarating to push yourself past that point. 23 seconds, you can fit your switches in. Go, one. Are you ready for your finisher? Take a minute. Take a breath. Okay. You got your finisher to go. You ready? We've got 10 minutes and we're done. It's your last one. I'm going to set your timer. Oh, if you don't know what one of these is, this is a gym boss. And we use these to keep our time and to keep us on track because the beep keeps us going. Now, if you're watching me right now, grab a drink, move your feet. Move your feet around because I want that heart rate to stay up there. Okay, so eight, nine, 10. 50 seconds work with a 10 second rest. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 moves. That's your 10 minutes. Are you ready? We start with a clean, and then we're gonna go into a jump over push-up. So you're gonna use your bench. If you don't have a bench, jump over your weight, whatever you're using, okay? You've got 50 seconds to do it in. This will take you to your limit. I need you to balls out for 50 seconds. We have worked really hard to get you into this calorie burn. So let's keep working, let's keep moving. You've basically done 30, 40 reps of everything, which is anybody's workout. And if you think you're gonna go somewhere else, and it's not gonna suck like this to get in good shape, it does suck, because that's how it works. You put in what you get out. So you want to look better, you wanna look leaner, whatever your level is, put it in. But go to your max, don't just turn up. Turn up and really switch it on. So for these last 10 minutes, switch it on for me. Give me everything you've got, okay? It's 50 seconds and you even get a rest. It's like a treat. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> 10 seconds. We start with our clean. Now I'm gonna use my kettlebell because why not? <laughs> Brick in here. Two. Let's go. It's just 50 seconds. That's all it is. Come on, through every rep, graft. Plus one. Now, if you're new to jumping over a box, I would really recommend that you step over and not try to jump over. So, this is how it's gonna look. You know, push up if you want to, come up, jump over, or step over, okay? That's your alternative. Yeah, this will finish you. This will take you. This is gonna blow you. Why have I picked a box? Because it's hard. That's why. Because you can't cheat it. Nearly there. Let's go. Three, two. See how many less you get in 50 seconds? That's why I do reps with you, because you can't cheat it. Just row it out. Grab your weight or your kettlebell. You're gonna row, row. Now, if this is too much for you, 
you can just do one arm at a time and you can row up like this for 10, change sides. But this one will keep your core engaged. If you need a rest, stand up, but make sure you're leaning far enough forward to actually make your back do the work and not your lower back. It's all about how far you lean forward. The further forward you lean, the more your upper body takes the slack. Ten seconds. Time. And well. Now for this one, I'm just going to undo my vest because I need to get be able to really open up. Let's go. Hold your weight here. Round the world. Stop. Round the world. Stop. Everyone else. Round the world. Press. Press. If you just want to stay with the press, then do that. Notice I'm not arching my back like that. My bum isn't sticking out. I'm not doing this like you see people do. My bum's under. My abs are engaged. Good form is not always flattering, but it will save you back. It will save your joints. Your bum should be under, your abs should be engaged. Three, two, last one. Using your bench or the floor, it's entirely up to you, took abs. So when I mean all the floor, if you're doing them on the floor, you're gonna do them like this. You're gonna tuck up and you're gonna take it down, okay? That's your alternative, here's another one. Use your bench. Hold on, lift, same move. Let's go. You are not doing this, which I see people do all the time. That's just me bringing my knees in. <laughs> That's my hands aren't actually working. I'm concertinaing together. So imagine I'm on the floor. Imagine the floor's here. My shoulders come off the floor. My legs come off the floor. And I go back to the floor. Come in, back to the floor. That's the move I'm making, not this. That's just hip flexors getting a really good workout. I'm just going to oh, cram a few in because I was talking. <laughs> Front squat and press. You ready? Oh my gosh. This time I want you really narrow with the legs. Let's work those teardrops. And it's got to be a thrust up to the ceiling. Now I cannot put my legs this close together and squat. It's just not how my body is. It doesn't work like that. So I have to go slightly out. If you can put your hip heels together as you would do in yoga, in chair pose, please do. Make sure your knees aren't turning inwards. Eight seconds. Don't stop till you get enough. Abs. Let's do them on the board because it's easier. Grab your lighter weight for me if you want to make this harder. The reason I do them on the board is because I get more height, but you can do them on the floor. Working obliques. Now, advanced people, come up into the middle and do an A-frame. So you're getting more work on the middle. Come on. If the A-frame is too much for you, go back to Russian twist. It's everything. But I've got you, and I'm here. Come on, beep. Oh, yeah. Look, two more. Oh, are you ready? Oh, this time. Really make sure that you bend forward, you know, bend over a row, and then you're gonna come up. 
Take it down. Now this time do two. Up. This time do three. One, two, three. Are you bending four and far enough forward? One, two, three. Do four this time. One, two, three, four. Come on. If you want nice shoulders, you got to put it in. Eight seconds left. Four, five, up, two, last one. How you doing? You doing good? Good. Let's get some arms in. Got biceps and triceps to finish and we're done. Let's go. This time, up you come. Take it down. Now, you just isolate those biceps. Your arms shouldn't be stuck in. They shouldn't be coming forward here. They should be just where they would be if you were standing dead normal. <laughs> so nice and controlled. And then just bring the bicep up and then lower it down. But try not to swing the body. The arms should be essentially where they would be if you were standing with good posture. Come on, push. everything. Four, three, two. Drop it down. We're so close. Triceps, I'm going to have to go for a lighter weight because I know it's going to burn over your head. You're going to drop down, push up. All I'm doing, look, is bending my elbow. That's it. And then I bring it back up. That's it. Bend my elbow, hold it, bring it back up. That's it. It's not this that I see people doing all the time. You're just bending your elbow up. Now, another thing, my elbows aren't out. My elbows are in. So I bend. So just like doing a skull crusher, but over my head. So that same L shape that you expect in a skull crush, it's the same move that you should be doing right now. Eight seconds. Three, two. Now we've got one I've moved to finish. And I know it's your favorite. I'm gonna do some Jesuses. <laughs> like what? If you train with me, you'll know what that means. It's a very, very, very cool variation of a reverse app. So these are your options. Bum under, hold, hold it, just like that. Everyone else? Out you go, squeeze, hold, let's go up, hold it, take it down. Arms and legs, do the same move. So it's like a tuck out that we did on the bench earlier, but your abs are lifting you up in that middle now, try and hold it. Now try and extend your arms out, further. Are you shaking yet? I sound like I'm on one of those machines. <laughs> they shake out your muscles right now. <sighs> You're done. Just wherever you are, lie on the floor and just think about, did you hit the wall? Were there moments in that workout? Let's bring it in. Actually, lift your bum, squeeze it, put it on the mat. Lift your shoulders, put it on the mat. That just flattens out your spine. Head up to your knees. Were there moments in that workout that you thought, oh God, I might not make it, this might be the one. <laughs> if there was, yes, brilliant, that's what I wanted. If there wasn't, well, I'm going to see you on the next one and I'll do it then. Don't you worry, I'm coming for you. That's it, that's how we hit the wall. It's just a way of setting your mind right into the workout. So. It's a way of getting your mind into the workout. So when I say things like hit the wall, push to your max, blah, blah, straight away, you know what you're supposed to be doing. You know where this is going. You know what I expect you to reach to. You know where I'm expecting you to go. There were loads and loads of variations in that workout. A lot of the people that follow us, and you know who you are, are just that little bit afraid to jump into these workouts because they look more intense. They're actually not. 
Now my advanced workouts are actually more basic than my old school workouts. They're just heavier weight. They, but the down, the intermediate and the beginner moves that I give you are doable. You just need to try. If you only get through the first 10 minutes or you only get through the first 15 minutes of this workout, I promise you with the extra weight and the extras that you're adding and the more intensity that we've got now in these workouts, you'll see more results than doing just the workout that you think is okay for you and that you think is the right one to do because you're at that level. Try to push yourself out of your level. That's the best advice I can give you. The best advice I can give you is always lift more than you think you can because you can always take it down. Always push harder than you think you're gonna go. You can always march, you can always take a rest and eat your freaking calories. Eat them because nothing will make working out better and nothing will make your body better than if you're eating the right foods but you are eating the calories that you're using, growing that beautiful muscle and getting your body to work at its optimum level that is the best advice i can give you oh and drink your water drink your water because <laughs> you're essentially a plant so go and stretch and grow and remember right now your body is a sponge you are empty what are you going to fill that sponge with are you going to fill it with water are you going to fill it with a monster drink it's your decision right now you are a sponge and you are waiting to be filled what are you going to fill those beautiful spongy muscles with? Is it going to be amazing protein? Is it going to be a beautiful salad? Or is it going to be a McDonald's takeaway? You decide. Same when you wake up in the morning. Make that your first thought. Your body for eight hours has dried out like a dried sponge. When you wake up in the morning, think to yourself, okay, what am I going to put inside my sponge? The first thing you're going to put in there, is it going to be a glass of water? Is it going to be... A big cup of coffee, what is it going to be? Think about it. There are little things for you to take away. <sighs> Goodbye.